Today we're working on Grade 3, Module 6, or Graphs. Our page is Bar Graphs Input Page. So it should look like this. There you go. Okay, so let's get started looking at our sentences. A bar graph is similar to vertical number lines, which we worked on last time. So a bar graph is similar to vertical number lines. Next, bar graphs are used to display data or information. I'm going to go with data, but you can write data or information. So bar graphs are used to display data or information. The reason people like bar graphs or any graph is that you can um, see a lot of information all at once, and it's easier to understand than a list. Okay, last sentence. A bar graph must include a blank to show the value of each bar. A scale. So a bar graph must include a scale to show the value of each bar. When we worked in picture graphs, we had a key to help us understand the value of each picture. In a bar graph, you have a scale on the side to show the value of each bar. Okay, now we're going to look at our bar graph and we're going to do some labeling. So our top arrow is pointing to the title, Library Books Checked Out. So we're going to label that as title. Our next highest arrow is pointing to the number about 150. That's the side right here. That's our scale. So we're going to label that scale. So notice that this scale is um, counting 50, 100, 150. But there's a line between each number, and those are halfway between the numbers that are shown. So um, between 0 and 50, the line would be 25. And then between 50 and 100, the line would be 75. Okay, our next arrow is pointing to number of books, and that is a label. So it's telling us what we're counting. And in this case, we're counting the number of books, so that's our label. Um, notice that we have two arrows left. One is pointing to March, and one is pointing to month. We'll do the one that is month first, because that's another label. So you're going to have a label going vertically that's going to show what the numbers mean, and then you're going to have a label going horizontally, and that's going to show what your categories mean. So month is a label, and then the arrow pointing to March, it's actually supposed to point to um, January, February, March, and April, and those are our categories. So every bar graph needs to have these parts. I'll hold it up so you can see it better. Okay. All right, so now you know the parts of a bar graph. It's time to tackle that output page. I'll see you next time.